Hello, every hello everyone. Are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with some Dragalia Lost today to talk today to talk about what I actually want to see in the upcoming Fire Emblem banner. That will be the one that comes after, you know, the one that has Marf, Yorm, Alphonse, and Verica, and I kind of have them up here on screen to kind of talk about that. So yeah, today's video is just going to be talking about that, kind of what I want to see from it, what units I would like to see, and you know, uh, stuff like that. So. If you have a specific, I've already asked some people like, hey, what do you want to see in there? But if uh, you want to tell me what you want to see and stuff like that, what do you expect from it? Maybe some even some weapons because I think we might even get weapon skin because weapon skins weren't part of the game when this first came out. Stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's going to be today's video and you end up liking it. Remember, leave a like. If you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to me, you should subscribe to me. I do Dragalia Lost and a bunch of other videos too. A uh, bunch of other games. Anyway, let's get into it. First things first, uh, so very good, very good chance that whatever banner is coming up. So the first unit we actually do have confirmation of is, let me just show it, because this is going to be, no, that's my mission. So don't, don't look at my dailies, come on. Uh, right here, go into the this month, just to get her art up. It is Sharina. So she's going to be the free-to-play character. What element she's going to be is harder to guess. Um, I want to say in the game, she, in Fire Emblem, if I'm remembering right, she was blue. But then that would make her water for here. I mean, it doesn't do correct... <laughs> there's no direct correlation, I think, between what type they could be. But if I were to give a, a guess, they could make her light just like Alphonse, but I think they won't do that. Um, I actually think they'll probably try and stick to other kind of elements. The actual funny thing is that the one element we are missing is wind. Um, the original Fire Emblem event had four units in it, one free three banner, um, and the elements were fire, water, light, and shadow. So that means the odd man out is wind. Um, and chances are we're going to have another case like that too, where the another odd person out is going to be wind again. Um, so she could be wind, but... Again, it's kind of up in the air. Nothing about Marf screams fire to me. Form a little bit, actually. No, actually, fire for Marf makes sense because he, he is the Fire Emblem boy. Fjorm is some kind of ice princess, I think. Uh, Alphonse is light and Varric is evil, so there you go. That's why they're light and dark and stuff like that. But wind is a much more nebulous kind of feeling. Unless they were specifically using wind magic, it's hard to imagine someone being wind. But yeah, she's the guaranteed free-to-play unit, whatever element she may be. Uh, as terms of banner units, I do expect at least one banner. There's a part of me that really expects there to be two banners because Monster Hunter was uh, part one, part two. Um, uh, and then the most recent event is has a part one banner and a part two banner. We've been getting a lot of more part ones, part twos. Um, I want to say New Year's was a part one, part two, if I remember correctly. Something like that. Um, so I could definitely see something like that happening. Uh... So it'd be more likely than not. But let's assume one banner. One banner that will have three characters on it. Here's the one thing that everyone's kind of expecting at this point. Um, is that it to be at least... Of the characters we get, we would be three originals from Fire Emblem uh, Heroes. Which is what we have here. We have Fjorm, Alphonse, and Verica. And then one actual final uh, Fire Emblem Fire Emblem character, which is Marth. Um... I really don't think that they can keep that up though. There's a part, maybe it's also because, you'll have to excuse me on this, I stopped playing Fire Emblem as soon as Fjorm was released. I got Fjorm, grinded her up, made her all nice and strong, and then stopped playing Fire Emblem <laughs> uh, Heroes. So all of the units I actually want to be in the game, um, the one that's actually a Fire Emblem Heroes character is An Anna, who I wanted, but... Uh, it seems likely we're not going to get her in this one. And even then, she's technically speaking a Fire Emblem mascot of sorts because she's in every single one of the games. Um, but in terms of actual units I want, I put down three because we already know, again, assuming that there's going to be at least three other characters in it, here are the ones I wanted. Uh, number one that I wanted. Oh no, did I accidentally get rid of my, <laughs> my list of stuff? Don't worry, I remember from my head. Um, number one is obviously Donald. Um, I think there was a recent interview, not a recent, but there's been interviews before with the Fire Emblem team and the basic understanding is they've asked him, uh, 
how do you feel about Donald? And the answer is, we have no idea why the West loves Donald so much. If you don't know who Donald is, he is one of the units where it's this kind of unit in Fire Emblem. I forget the ex exact term, but they're basically a super weak unit at the beginning. But if you train them up, keep them alive, do all that good stuff, they become super strong by the end. So Donald, for example, was one of those units. When he started, he was a very bad spearman. He was like a pig farmer of some kind. And then by the end of the game, he was completely monstrous and he had a, <laughs> he had a pan on his head and everything. He was fantastic. I love Donald uh, from the bottom of my heart. So I'd love Donald in this game and I would love to have him have a similar mechanic where in the beginning he actually has, like at the beginning of the fight, he's super weak. But then as the fight kind of progresses, he gets actively stronger and stronger and stronger. The more they can even do it like, um, based on how many enemies he kills, but then that would kind of limit him to, he wouldn't be able to use them in fights that are only one fight and that's it. So I think making it kind of be either, maybe based on attack, actual attacks done, I think that would be pretty cool. Um, after Donald comes Ike, I think Ike, Ike who is the main hero from for two Fire Emblem games, the GameCube one and the Wii one, I want to say Path of Radiance and, oh man, what is the other one called? I played them so much, but I can only remember Path of Radiance's name, and that's because it's super expensive right now. Um, uh, yeah, so Ike, I would love Ike to be in there. Ike is super well loved. Um, I think he's like maybe, depending on who you ask, I want to say Ike is maybe the second most loved Fire Emblem character behind Marth, because Marth is the number one boy. And then the number two, I'll, you know what, let's say in terms of boys, because then the number two boy is. Um, Ike in my eyes. Uh, not to say that there's more loved characters, I just feel like overall more people are positive on Ike. Which version of Ike? Hard to guess. Um, I would kind of like big buff swole Ike, but I have more of a, a liking towards uh, kind of <laughs> wimpy looking, not wimpy, but wimpy in comparison to the freaking huge, the fact that um, Ike looked like Beef McLarge huge in his uh, in the in the second game compared to the first one. That's the kind of Ike that I uh, um, that's kind of the difference in them. It's just pure beef on one side and beef on the other side. And finally, the last unit I have on the list, which is surprising because um, there's been two dudes so far, and usually I, I'm pretty girl heavy. But this girl is one that I would like, and I think it actually fits with Fire Emblem Heroes because she was a super mainstay in Fire Emblem Heroes in terms of they never stopped releasing banners for it. It's right, it's Camilla. Uh, Camilla, the giant boobied uh, sister type from the 3DS uh, Fire Emblem game. I wanna say she has like, I think that was like a running joke in Fire Emblem Heroes that she just kept getting alts. And even when I came back to the game, she had like seven other alts by the time I came back. So it's really crazy the amount of alts they gave this woman. For good reason too, because she has a fantastic design and personality. I actually do like her personality, I think that a very caring woman which i appreciate and she could give a very good hug i bet um but yeah those are the kind of characters i limited myself to three those are the three i would like and again this doesn't have a fire emblem heroes character because i kind of don't know enough of those characters to actually want them not to say that i'll be bummed out if like like i'm half expecting most of these to be fire emblem heroes original characters and i'll be perfectly fine as long as uh the girls look good in it and that's basically it um, but yeah, those are my units. Now it's time to talk about the units everyone else wanted and the, wanted for the game. I'll start from the YouTube channel. I'll make sure to also leave their mentions. Uh, first one from YouTube is Om3NA. That's a weird name to say. He would like any of the three hero, heroes characters. Any of the three houses characters would be awesome. I think that's actually pretty likely because of it's the most recent Fire Emblem game. They can either do the thing I was think, saying where it's like, oh, Ike. Like one, uh, su someone super mainstay or someone who's just reset. And anyone from the three houses characters would seem likely. Like Byleth. Um, Cla Claude? No, it's Clyde. The Bowman. Um, I can't remember the name of the, the orange boy. And then the other one is the angry the angry girl from red yeah again yeah. i played some of three uh three houses i have not finished it yet though um next person says this is from tag 580 who says i really want corin slash tiki slash other dragon units that would have unique transformations but fully expect the three houses banner yeah i kind of agree especially because when dragalia was first starting out and then we got this crossover we didn't have a lot of we had mim 
who was a character who like all switched out but i feel like they were they limited that specific type of archetype of a character to um something like galley units and maybe they were afraid to make it a limited unit but i could totally see someone like a like a tiki or Corin. tiki is also um pretty well liked from what i remember she's also been uh she was also in the first game with marv if i remember correctly and stuff like that um uh next person is okaratina okaratina yeah would love to see lynn windblade or hector light axe but eh I also like Hector and Lin. That'd be pretty cool. Lin would be great as a win unit, now that I think about it. <laughs> if they want to give us another win unit, that'd be fantastic. Uh, Lin would fit really well into Wind, I think, especially since Wind is all about constantly DPSing, but so is a lot of other teams. Um, Sweet Angel says, I think Marf's sister will be a playable unit in part two of the event. I don't... Lucina? Who's Marf's sister? I didn't even know that was Marv had a sister. I thought Marv was like a single boy. Um, your boy, Tra your boy Tash, Dokkan X Legends. That's the name of his uh, account. Um, Ike, because I only know Smash Fire Emblem characters. Well, there's a lot of them, but that's perfectly fair. Uh, Nalightbe, who says another Fey original like Lega Yarm, or maybe an I'm gonna screw that name because it's like bad to pronounce for me. But it's L A E G J A R N, or maybe another Fire Emblem icon like Ike, or maybe someone from Three Houses, so we can get some of the amazing Three Houses music. Yeah, that works. And finally, my brother Admiral Nux says Dorcas, which my brother has made a video called How to Dorcas, which was hilarious, and we constantly mention it. Now I'm gonna switch over to the Twitter side of things to go talk to those to go see what those people would have liked. One moment. Okay, here we go. Here's my Twitter. All right, we got Dark Zekrom who says, I'd love to see a young Tiki and Ike. Yeah, here's young Tiki, 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 Tiki. And there's Beef McLarchute himself, Ike. That's, yeah, I think that's the, the Ike everyone kind of puts in their mind and not the kind of skinny boy Ike. Uh, Lord Yedef says, Byleth and Krom, personally. Respectable. Chase just says, Ike. <laughs> Ike, Chase does not play Dragalia, I think. If he does, I'd be surprised we never talked about it. But Ike would be pretty cool. I agree. Some guy says any of the leaders from Three Houses would work. Um, yeah, that works too. I think that, that makes sense. Hell Edge says, I don't <laughs> I don't know shit about that, but these two characters look fucking awesome, so them please. I think this is a Fire Emblem Heroes original character. And this is the guy from Fire Emblem Three Houses. It's the, the other one. It's the blue one. The man who eventually uh, goes for some shit. We got Meg saying, I'm biased towards Alm and Cilicia, but if they were taking pure hype characters in general, it would be Ike, Hector, and Roy. Also, a Korra and Rotiki with their own dragons. It's so sad that there weren't any dragons in the first time around. I agree. Um, that was actually a really big bummer, which I'm glad that the Monster Hunter event actually added um, dragon-type heroes because we needed them. Uh, Spoot says Donald. <laughs> I agree. Simisa says who Simsa says love Tharja says Tharja. Here's the picture they provided for Tharja. I would love Tharja too. I always picked her as my wife, I think, when I was playing the game she was in. She's fantastic. Anam says Lucina would be great, but she feels like a given, honestly. I mean you never know. I mean we had Marf, why not female Marf? So let's go back to the game. But yeah. But yeah, that's it. That's the that's the video. Uh, I'm looking forward to the banner. It's gonna be at the end of the month. I still think that there's a possibility for it to be a two-parter, but I think it would actually be kind of mean if we had three limited banners at the end of April. It'd be it'd be probably the meanest thing that Dragalia has done, unless there was constant free multis through everything. Um, Cause three back-to-back -back limited. You actually, you know what? We had a three-run limited actually pretty recently. Now that I think about it. So, it's totally within their power. I also fully expect... It'd be a shame because there's a part of me be like, Oh, you would just skip the first one. But all four... All these three units, the Marf, the Fjorm, and Veronica, are all getting Mana Spirals to get way better. So, that'd be crazy. They're going to be nuts. So, if you don't have them, there's a very good chance they're going to be insane by the time they finish the Mana Spiral. But thankfully, Alphonse will be free. And even free-to-play character Mana Spirals have been nuts. Nuts crazy. I've been nuts good. So let's just watch Marf Strut as I'm going to end the video now. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, if you like this video, please leave a like. Tell me about who you would like to see from Fire Emblem. 
Are you excited for Fire Emblem? I'm sure as hell excited for Fire Emblem. I got a buttload of stuff ready for him. And until next time, everyone, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.